Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Okay, y'all gonna have to see my mirror because I'm gonna need it right here. But here we go. What's up, good people, AKA winners? That's what we do. A, that's all we do. A, 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 A. <laughs> I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Vicky, Vicky. Hey, what's up, y'all? Your girl Seeky in the building. Before we get started, do not forget to like. You can even comment right now and say, hey, girl, hey, if you want, okay? And don't forget to spread the love. And most importantly, join the fam bam by subscribing and customize your notifications so you don't miss a beat. Yes, there's something different going on with me. Girl, let me turn around. Let me, ooh, ooh. let me turn, baby, turn, baby. Just let me turn, baby. Yes, I definitely cut my hair. And if you have not seen the Big Chop reveal, I will tag that video in this video. I recently had a birthday, so I definitely was gone for a minute. I will be uploading a video. Um, hopefully, I have to check it out. But my daughter, um, like eight years ago, my youngest, well, both of them did My Daughter Does My Makeup video with me, right? And then we recently um, just did another video because my youngest, um, she's in esthetician school and I guess they had to do like a makeup look or something like a fantasy editorial type look. And so she did one on me. So we did a video, but I totally forgot to bring it up here. I just have to work on that and see, cause half of it was without a mic, but anyway, I digress. So yes, girl, I have a video of, um, when I cut my hair, but I had it in its straight state right now. It's in its natural state. I asked you guys in a post, if you wanted me to show you guys like my routine, so far I just colored it so it's a little more red than what it was before I might brighten it in a couple months but anyway what I'm here for today is to just get ready with you guys um I want to do like a smoky eye on my lid but I want to use like a blue color that kind of matches my sweater if you see that I recently got this palette from ColourPop it is called um your golden and so we are going to use that but we're probably going to use some of my colors that I absolutely love although I think I could use this palette but anyway first what we're going to do is we're going to go on my lid with this um, P. Louise base. This is the number six P. Louise base. I have a video all about um, this P. Louise base. And I have a situation going on right here. I don't, y'all know, sometimes it happens. I did get a um, bunch of questions. People are asking me, am I still do, do using, <laughs> am I still using or doing my same regimen? Yep, ain't nothing changed but the weather girl. So anyway, you just place this base on here. I don't really need it to be, I do have the P. Louise in I think five and four. Four is brighter when I really want my makeup to pop. I just use six to mute out the discoloration and to act as a base for the shadow to adhere to. One thing I do love about this base, which this is not a review because I totally did one already, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now in case it's your first time watching. You do not even have to set this with the powder. So that was really interesting when I first used it, but I've grown to love it. One good thing, especially if you have hooded lids too, my go-to y'all is a nice smoky eye. And it could be a daytime smoky eye or you can even use black, but the deeper you go with the smoky eye, the more concentration on blending you'll need. So if you, if you have problems blending, stay away from the blacks, okay? This is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And this one is um, the Ring the Alarm. And as you can, y'all know which one I like the most at this point, in life I'm swirling all around and I do have another one I just gotta bust it out I just haven't done that yet so I'm just gonna put this in the crease I like to do the crease first and but you do see that P Louise does make it pop so I am going in the crease you can use something a little um, cooler you can use a cooler brown when you use blue but I feel like blue I could either take it like with a warm crease or I could take it with like a kind of cool tone crease but we're going more on the warm side today so this is the your golden palette this color is called sporty a so i'm gonna go into that hopefully it's not too dark i don't even think that oh it's a lot of fallout i don't think i've used this palette yet maybe for like a video but i don't think i've used it so i'm just gonna go on the lid okay i think she'll work it's not the exact shade that i have on it's giving me more of a navy blue smoky eyes are just the simplest to me because you don't I have to put my mirror more because it's like 
you don't have to worry about, you know, the outer V and this and that. You literally put one color on your lid and then you make sure it's blended in the crease and you do a brow bone. And it's, it's like, it's not as many levels to other eye looks. So for me, I always tell people go for the, go for the smoky. And if you had ho have hooded lids, which I have semi hooded lids, you legit, it makes your eyes appear to be bigger. So to me, smoky eye for the hooded lid folks, baby, it's great. It's a great thing to do. See, I love doing makeup looks with you guys where I'm testing stuff out. I don't practice the look. That's what I'm trying to say. So I have this makeup geek palette or it might be ColourPop. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. TikToks are in my head. Follow me on TikTok if you guys haven't. So this is um, Lost and Found. I think it's ColourPop. I'm going to put this, a little bit of this on top. Which one? This one. Yeah. Let's put a little, oop. <gasps> Y'all, this eyeshadow just broke. It's on my new pair of jeans. So I'm going to go on top with this blue. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, oh Lord. I should have just done that in the middle. I didn't know it was going to be so pigmented. But it's giving me the color that I want though. I didn't, that is some, that's ColourPop lost and found. Whoa. So go on top of that. That would have been dope if I had just put it in the middle. But anyway, this is the color I want. I want it to go a little higher. Higher, higher. I think we're good right there. And then I'm gonna go back into that crease, but I'm also gonna put a dark color around it. Like, I don't know. We're gonna work with it, but I'm gonna let you know as I go. And so just go around that with your brown or whatever color you want. And I'm gonna blend it out with another color too. All right, so I'm gonna take this Morphe palette. Um, this is the 3502 and I'm going to use, where are we? I'm gonna use this color right here this color rich and then I'm gonna put it like right above where that blue is just a little bit so that it's a nice little transition you can use a darker blue for that too but I just chose to go with the brown so the blue we started with the sporty in the color pop palette I'm just put a little bit right here see yeah that that helps that transition of course I'm taking a little bit of the blue from the eyeshadow and just blending it right here and then you can wipe that off and do this side because you don't want a harsh line all right and then I go into my morphe which is the um 3502 again and y'all see this color up here universal baby that's my jam right there and when you have that um p louise on it literally makes it pop more oh and fyi baby i'm still in edge school okay many many me has been helping your girl out but i i definitely need to uh i'm i'm in i'm taking classes <laughs> and then that's legit it you just want to make sure again that like when you close your eyes you don't want like i'm gonna do it right here you don't want it to be super harsh so i'm taking that same brush we use and getting all in that little line that little crease and then i put on my um mascara which is the Too faced born this not born this way better than sex that is one of my favorite um mascaras and i like to put it on my lashes first sometimes people do that after because they like to marry the two together it's not that much for me to marry because i'm part of the itty bitty lash committee so i'm gonna apply my lashes i'll probably do my little inner corner put on some primer and then i am going to come back and we're gonna do the rest of the face and i will share some more of my techniques with y'all okay i'll be right back all right so anyway so i'm back what i did for the inner corner i put that um that atlantis from makeup geek and i just used a brush that has like it's like a dome shaped brush but it's very dense and then i just placed it right there put a little bit of black eyeliner <laughs> eyeliner i put a little bit of black eyeliner right there and that's it i'm not gonna put any directly under but what i am gonna do is correct because we need all the correcting because your girl just had a birthday and girl we correcting and i don't know if you guys are affected right here but wearing those masks i get a little drier right there in those areas so i just need to correct a little more this is the makeup forever number 51 corrector or concealer and i get that from sephora i have a video about that whole collection when they first dropped though but i just love the fact that it just i could do this and just do concealer or do this and just do powder and go on about my day. But it just helps me look more youthful, okay? Because it gets rid of all that. It's the Urban Decay Stay Naked. I have a video review on this too. I have a review on the Morphe as well. And if y'all didn't know, I'm putting this clip in my hair because I was hoping to make my um, curls, especially, you know, there. I wanted them to fall a certain way, but now I gotta move it out of the way a little bit. Put a little more foundation. Look, I'm doing like this. After spilling that eyeshadow, I'm literally like doing like this, hoping that... <laughs> that it won't spill anywhere because I don't need any more hiccups. L Lord, I already gotta clean that up. And if y'all doing a banging eyeshadow look, do not neglect 
you know, putting on something, put on a powder, do something to give that whole flawless vibe. Because I feel like if your eyeshadow is banging like this, you gotta have like the makeup just makes it pop. So you gotta do something, girlfriend. Even if you don't do the full face, I get you, I feel you, you don't have to, but put on some powder or something, girl. Do a little concealer, do something. I'm gonna go with this butterscotch uh, concealer from Too Faced. It's Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. And I just take a little right there because that's where the little bags begin to form a little bit. So put a little bit right here. Try not to put too much. I don't go all the way over anymore because when I blend, it will take me there. I'll take you there. And then I'll go right here. When you let this get a little bit dry, y'all, I found that it spreads, um, it doesn't just kind of slip and slide everywhere. It, the placement, it allows you to be precise in your placement and it allows it to stay there better. It stays in place better when I let it dry a little bit. So I have my Graftobian powder, that's step one. And then I also have my Sasha Cosmetics powder. Um, and I have a video on um, a comparison with those and why I use separate ones. So now I'm gonna tell you this little technique so basically when you're doing your concealer like go make sure like I might be out of focus a little bit but go up right and blend it out as you're going up so that when you're putting the the um the cream or the liquid make sure you're not like sitting it all the way in your line this is why that's another reason why i don't put the concealer directly under my eye because i don't want it to like go right in the line and set there because if we set it in the line a bunch of that cream and liquid it's gonna set there that's where we're gonna set it and that's where it's gonna stay so just make sure you're blending up so you don't start off creasing and you're setting creasing if that makes sense but i'm gonna tell you like i tell y'all all the time you cannot stop creasing i don't care what what products say no creasing there is it might stop it for a certain amount of time but there will always be creasing because we have lines in our eyes some of us have more than others do and that's the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth i just don't want it under my eye making me look 100 years old i'll do like that that's about all i do because i don't need it under my eyes like look at there your girl has hit pan. This is the Fenty powder in 390. Then I just take it and I pat it in when I'm setting and then I set the rest of my face, right? But as I'm setting, I pat that powder in. This is one reason why I like using a uh, primer too, right? Not only does the primer make your hair smooth, I mean your hair, I'm looking at my hair. It makes your uh, foundation go on smoother depending on the one you get, but it also acts as a barrier between all the product you're putting on your face and I can appreciate that. So the next thing, I'm going into this Juvia's Place um, bronzed, bron no, the bronze palette girl. This is in the dark shade and I wish that they had one that wasn't super red. This is a little more red than I would like, but it works. Use the same brush and then I go all the way up like right here to the bridge of the eyebrow. Now this is the um, the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this color right here. The name is Hunts. I'm actually gonna use Hunts and I'm gonna use that as a blush. I'd like to do this on my clients and I love using um, orange blush on brown skin. Even though this has like, it's like orange mixed with something. So anyway, you guys feel free to use eyeshadow as a blush. You don't have to have the perfect blush. Come on, let's go. There's levels to this girls. There's levels okay so then i take this um my old for beverly hills <laughs> my daughter looked it was like dang i see which one you like yeah that would be her right there this is the beverly hills palette i take this smaller brush it's a morphe brush i don't even know which one it is but i take the smaller one simply because i like to have placement i like to place it where i want it and then i go in with my big becca brush and i go into it it is an angle brush it is actually a highlighter brush and then i just kind of go over where i placed it but then i kind of spread it out and blend all right so spray it cover your jewels girl cover your jewels and then spray your face but you definitely need something to bring everything together. You can use MAC Fix, Fix Plus. You can use whatever you want, but I do love the Morphe because it has that continuous spray. Okay, we're gonna take this off. Hopefully that didn't hold that there. And so I take this oil. This is what I actually use on my scalp too. This is the Do Grow Mega Thick Hair Formula. This stuff, it's, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. So I put a little bit in my hand. And if you guys wanna see how I twist it and how I got the curls on the side, we could talk about that later. And then I, I make sure that it's on the tips of my 
my fingers, right? And then I just literally untwist with very carefully, I untwist it and separate it. So then I take my pick and then I pick it a little bit because I want volume because see, it's really fresh. It's like fresh, fresh to death. No, I'm just kidding, but it's fresh. I like freshly washed it. And until it gets at the length, let me come down some until it gets at the length that I really want it to be like, I really want it to fall over my eye. I need to pick it to get that volume. And then I just pull the hair down. So I do take my, um, I take my Mac chestnut liner. And I blend that a little bit, right? And then this is my confidence lipstick from Seeky Cosmetics. This is confidence. And I put a little bit, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Just like that. And then I blend it. It's so much in there and a lot comes out. Girl, this is one of my favorite lip glosses. It's just being me. See, confidence is key. This is from my line. Also, our lip glosses are 10 bucks. And then I put the just being me on top and generously and so this is the final look i just wanted to come on the video and do like a get ready with me with my new hairdo that is it you guys make sure you um like the video share the video and um subscribe that's the most important thing Seeky beauty confidence is key you know what i mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty